Hello viewers. In this lecture, I will tell you how to design a MATLAB code to simulate a differential equation that is defined under the CF operator called Caputo Fabrizio operator. The scheme I have taken from the research paper whose citation I have just highlighted. That numerical scheme or the numerical method is given in equation number 23 in this research paper. So let's start to discuss. As you can see, line number 7 are our initial conditions. Line number 10, sorry, line number 9 are some required inputs such as the fractional order alpha, the ABC normalization factor, step size H, the final mesh point 1 and T shows the integration interval. Line number 11 is the number of iterations. Line number 13 is our very simple given differential equation defined as T squared and this is defined with CF operator. Line number 14 you can see I have found the exact solution of this equation. Now some of the viewers must be thinking how I have written this exact solution on line number 14. Let me tell you that this exact solution is obtained for the differential equation that is defined with the CF operator. So we need to know how we can solve linear differential equation that is defined with CF operator with the help of some techniques. So the, one of the most popular techniques is Laplace transform. And this is what I have used here to obtain the exact solution. Let me show you the steps to obtain this exact solution. So now as you can see on the screen, the given initial value problem is shown by equation 1 in which we have the differential equation defined with CF operator along with an initial condition. Now you can see the formula that one can find in any of the research paper that has discussion about the CF operator and how to use this operator and Laplace transform simultaneously to solve some linear differential equations. So this formula can be used when alpha is uh, lying between 0 and 1. So I have taken the Laplace transform on both sides of equation 1 and obtain equation 2. And then after applying the formula on the left hand side of equation 2, you can see that I have written that formula over here in equation 3. And then right hand side becomes 2 upon s cubed. Putting y of 0 equals 0, this is what we are given in the problem, we will have equation 4. Now some simplification in equation 4 will give you 5 and few more simplifications would give you equation 6. And moreover, you will have a couple of more simplifications and to reach at equation 7, including equation number 8 as well. So some um, algebraic computations are required here. So these are not difficult. Apply inverse Laplace transform on equation 8. You will have the exact solution as shown on your screen. And this is the exact solution that I had actually written in the M file. So let's go back to the code. You can see equation that equation i had shown you in the presentation is written now on line number 14. now come to line number 17 to 22 this is what is the most important part of this code and this is where we are actually trying to design the for loop for the differential equation given with the CF operator. So 
line number 19 you can see is actually the numerical method called Euler's method in which the differential equation is defined with CF operator. So you can find line number 19, the right hand side of this line, in equation number 23 of the research paper that I have cited at the top of this code. Okay, so since we have the exact solution for this differential equation, I was able to compute the errors. So I have computed the absolute errors, exact minus approximate, and then I have collected some types of errors including maximum, last, average, and norm. So finally, on line number 27, I have collected all of these four errors at one place and have shown them in matrix notation. So let's run this code and remember I'm using a step size 0.1. So the results are shown on the command window as you can see. The four errors. Let's go to the code again. And now I comment this line and decrease the step size to 0 0.01. And run the code again. Go to the command window. You can see there is a one order of decrease in the errors when we decrease the step size by one order of magnitude. If I decrease the step size further by one order of magnitude, then you can see that one order of magnitude, the error is also decreased by one order of magnitude. Let's confirm it further by decreasing the step size to 0 0.001 and then run the code again. You can see that another decrease by one order of magnitude and we are also getting the approximate time that is being taken by this for loop so you can observe that when we are taking smaller and smaller step size the loop is taking more and more time of course, it is using very small step size, hence more number of iterations. That is why the time is being consumed. So this behavior of one order of magnitude decrease is actually recommending that the numerical method that I have taken from this research paper is of first order at least as far as this example is concerned so you can now confirm it by changing some um, order for example you can change the differential equation and you can change this final mesh point so do this these experiments and confirm that what you are going to get as a result and this code will help you to simulate any differential equation, no matter linear or nonlinear. I have taken linear here, but you can take nonlinear as well. So, when as uh, as long as you are having a single ordinary differential equation, you can use this code to simulate it while the differential equation defined is defined with the Caputo Fabrizio operator. In my next lecture, I will explain how we can use the same numerical method when we are given more than one differential equations. In other words, if we have a system of differential equations, probably a nonlinear dynamical system, then how can we use the numerical scheme to simulate that system and the system will be defined with the CF operator. So that would be my next lecture. Finally, I would request you to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.